In this screencast I'll show you how to navigate around your iPad. I'll introduce the basic functions and show you how to use them. This iPad's already on, but to turn yours on you'll need to press this button here. And you need to hold it down. It's exactly the same to turn it off, so I'll hold it down to show you. And then you get this little slide icon. You can just put your finger on that and push across to the right and that will turn it off. I don't actually want to turn off at the moment so I'm going to press on the cancel button. And probably the most important button on the whole thing is this home button at the bottom. If you press that it's always going to bring you back to this page. And I'll show you that by navigating away to something else. and then just using that home button to bring me back to this page. You've probably realised by now that the iPad is a touchscreen device so you can press on things to open them and use your finger to move things around on the screen. And if you're looking at something that you think might display better in landscape rather than portrait, you can just turn the whole device and it will reposition itself. And back again. And again, I'll use the home button to take me back to that, that front page. If you think you need to adjust the volume or the brightness on your device, then double click the home button. And again, use your finger to swipe across to the right. And it brings up this little set of controls at the bottom. On the right hand side is the volume control. And on the left hand side is the brightness. And the home again to go back. And if you're looking at a photograph or a map or something and you need to zoom in, you can do it by double clicking on the screen. I'll show you that. So press once on photos to open it. This is my photo. I just gently double click on it and it zooms in. Double click again to zoom out and then use the home button to go back. If you're zooming in and out on a map, it's exactly the same except that to zoom out you need to use two fingers to click. So when you first turn on your iPad you'll have a few icons here on your screen and these are the ones that have been preloaded for you. Um, and obviously you can explore those at your leisure. One that you'll definitely want to use is um, Safari at the bottom which is the internet. So I'll tap on Safari. Let's open the web browser but it always brings you back to wherever you were before. If I want to do a new search, I'll tap in here and you'll see that the um, online keyboard just pops up and that happens every time you need to use it on an iPad. Um, so I'll do a search. I actually need to delete that um, and this is the delete button here. and then use the search button and it's it's brought you up the new page and you can just tap on it to open it's just one or two more things to show you on the keyboard so I'll just press um, that search box again to bring it up if you need um, a number then press on this here and then if you need symbols, this will take you to symbols and then you can go back. Okay, so again I'm just going to use the home button and go back. I'm just going to show you two more things. I'll show you how to open an app and then where to get some more help and advice. Um, so I'm going to show you how to open iTunes U because that's an app that you'll probably use. Because it's an app that I've downloaded from the App Store, it's not on this first page. So again, I use my finger, pull it across to the left, and it shows um, the sort of apps that I've downloaded myself. 
click on iTunes U and you're in there. At the moment there's only one thing in here and it's actually this guidance that I'm in the process of making for you. So if I tap on that, it'll open it up and I can check the different tabs. It's actually pretty empty at the moment because I haven't finished it yet. So again back to the home page and I'm going to go into Safari again just to show you where to get some help. There's a little icon, a book icon at the top here. If you click on that and then on iPad user guide. As you can see this is really comprehensive and again use your finger to scroll up and down and open the things that you're interested in learning about. So I clicked on the camera and then on taking photos and videos and it brings up the help screen. If I want to add the user guide and you might want to add the user guide to your home screen just use this button it's like a square with an arrow and here add to home screen and then add and it's there so now I don't need to search for it every time I can just find it.